Arrow from the Fox Sports Net Update Desk. Just call him Jose and the Pussycats. Jose being a stellar Canadiens goalie, Jose Theodore, and the Pussycats being his defense, which has subjected Theodore to an unheard of 116 shots in three games against Carolina. Theodore saved 112 of those shots, but just figures that a collapse from the strain eventually came in half. For a great highlight, this is it. First period, 1 0 Canadiens. Stefan Quintal shoots. Yannick Perot puts in the rebound past Kevin Weeks, his third. Two goals in less than a minute given up by Weeks. 2 0 Canadiens. Archer's Urbe comes in for the second period. All right, second period. 2 0 half. Montreal on the power play. Doug Gilmore, the nice pass to Sergei Berezin, who beats Urbe, his first. 3-0 Canadians. The third period, James Bork came with the two-man advantage. Ron Francis finds Sean Hill, who beats Theodore. Heads first. 3-1 Canadians. Later in the third, same score. Rod Brindamore feeds, baits the Taglia, who rips the slapper right past Theodore, his third. Michelle Terrien is concerned. Wouldn't you be? 3-2 half. Late in third, Canadians up one with under a minute left to play. Canes. Pull Urbe, Carolina pressing Battaglia, throws one to the net. Eric Cole will find the loose puck. He beats Theodore, his fourth. We go to overtime, tied at three apiece. AOT, Jeff O'Neill wins the faceoff. Nicholas Belin shoots, beats Theodore to win it. Gains victorious, four to three, a heartbreaking loss for the Habs. It's very disappointing. I mean, you know, if you're up three nothing and uh, after the second period, and I think we're playing great, then uh, you know they couldn't create anything, and we were. Playing well defensively, we're able to get some scoring chances, and uh, you know you come up uh, with nothing, and you know you're losing overtime. It's uh, it's tough. You know, we talked at the end of the second period. So let's try throwing the kitchen sink at them. We've thrown everything else, and uh, you know, credit to our guys. They didn't. They never quit. They never gave up. They still believed that we could come back and do it, and and uh, you know we found a way uh, to accomplish that. Now the game's comeback was improbable, but not historic. Twice have teams come back from four goal deficits in the playoffs, and once, back in 1982, the Kings came back from five goals down to beat the Oilers. They called that the miracle on Manchester. Game five on Sunday. That's going to do it from here. I'm Lisa Guerrero.